I thought I would come out here today and do a follow-up video on my Harbor Freight solar panel. So you can see today it's overcast and I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but we've actually got some uh, light flurries coming down. Um, this thing's out here in all sorts of weather. I never take it down. It's been sitting there since um, November of 2017 and uh, currently it is January 2020. Uh, we Last summer was pretty easy. Well, it wasn't really over 90 degrees very much. Um, last winter it did get down to negative 30. So it has seen some extreme cold. Uh, I did an installation video. I'll link that down in the description or something if you guys want to go check that out. And I have not opened this since. It was putting out 12.1 uh, volts. You can see it looks like a bird or something made a nest in there. It was putting out 12.1 volts. I'm going to set the camera down, get this cover taken off, and we're going to see how many volts it's putting out now. There, that's actually not too bad. I'll just prop you guys up there. Just got one thumb screw on the side here. I've only got one glove because they're sitting on top of the other one. Get this thumb screw out. And pull the cover off. Oh yeah, it's a big old... Gosh! Just full of sticks in there. What in the world does that? Can you guys see that? No. It's literally just full of sticks. What in the world? Oh, I guess that is a nest up in the very top there. What the heck, you stupid bird? Well, we're gonna clean this whole mess out of here. All right, I'll get the meter hooked up and we'll see what it's doing. Now the reason it even has a battery and a solar charger and all that is because this is an old reefer and the battery was to start the motor and all that, but I still have it on there to run the LED lights inside the trailer. It makes it really nice trying to see what you're doing. And check this out. On this overcast day, we're getting 16.2 volts. I'm sorry, 0.02. That's pretty impressive, just over 16 volts on a cloudy day like this. Now, let's see what the battery is. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. From there, I'll have to bring you over here. But I'll clip this on the battery. And we've got 12.7 volts. When I checked it a year ago, it is at 12.1. So we've got a fully charged battery that's been sitting on this trailer, on the charger, for a year. And it hasn't been hooked up to a semi to actually charge this battery in over two years. That is impressive that I've got 12, what was that, 12.7? Yeah, 12.7 volts on this battery. Alright, well I got that uh, box all buttoned up, got the cover back on it. Uh, I definitely think this is worth buying. It's been a year and it's not only maintained the level of the battery, but it's actually charged at half a volt. So if you're thinking about buying one, I would definitely say go ahead. They're not that much money and I think it's worth a shot. If you guys haven't subscribed already, I'd ask that you would. Uh, stick around for the next video I do. And thanks for watching. I'll see you then.